Late in the afternoon on April 25, 1777, British troops under General William Tyrone marched into Danbury, Connecticut to capture a munitions store. Several of the townsfolk fled, one of those fleeing farmers reaching Colonel Henry Ludington in nearby Putnam County, New York. Colonel Ludington led a contingent of some 400 troops, but at the moment they were scattered, assisting with the various farming activities in the community and not prepared for the attack. Needing to quickly organize the men that he had in town and with no one nearby to help, the colonel enlisted the aid of his daughter, 16-year-old Sybil Ludington, to ride a circuit of over 40 miles in the wee hours of the morning of the 26th to alert his troops. Her ride was a success, and the troops were gathered, and they avenged the burning of Danbury the following day at the Battle of Ridgefield. So, is Sybil Ludington the feminine Paul Revere? Well, according to the story, she rode further than... But the whole story might be a myth. The problem is, there's no contemporary account to verify the story. The first published work about Sybil comes 103 years after the event, when fiction writer turned amateur historian Martha J. Lamb told the story of the daring teenager in her History of the City of New York. While Lamb, Lamb claimed that no authority has been accepted and followed in any instance without further evidence, and that she sought and secured every book and document on the subject, there simply were no books published to corroborate the story. In 1839, when Sybil applied for a military pension on the account of her late husband's involvement in the Revolutionary War, she made no reference to her involvement in the conflict. A recent article from Smithsonian Magazine titled, Did the Midnight Ride of Sybil Ludington Ever Happen?, concludes with the simple answer, it's hard to prove. However, some historians still hold on to the story. In his book, Patriot Hero of the Hudson Valley, Vincent Danquino argues that the war pension applications confirm the presence of Colonel Ludington at the right place and the right time, and the burning of Danbury is an accepted historical fact. He also uncovered a letter written by Sybil's nephew, Charles Ludington, in 1854 that recounts the story of the ride and argues that Martha Lamb had contact with the Ludington family to make her account. While this is almost 80 years late, it shows that, at a minimum, this was an important piece of family lore within a generation of those involved. To a certain extent, the story has gotten away from facts. A number of books for mighty girls have been published, two poems composed, historical markers placed, a 4,000 pound bronze statue of Sybil riding side saddle has been erected in Putnam. The story was first published in the wake of the Civil War at a time when immigration was leaving people wanting to reconnect with their history. As historian Patricia Hunt notes, the 1880 story reflected the conventional 19th century historiography that conceived of the American Revolution as a momentous stage in an epic march towards progress that nationalism, capitalism, and the guidance of, and heroism of white men had facilitated. She would go on to point out that the daughters of the American Revolution and other organizations like it would be founded in the 1890s in this wave of patriotic interest. As the feminist movement triumphed in the 20th century, Sybil would become a hero for as wide a group as Democratic Majority Leader Chuck Schumer and the National Rifle Association. While the events of her life may be nebulous, her impact as an icon of strength and courage is not. So what do we make of Sybil Ludington? If it's true, is her story as important as Paul Revere? Well, no. Paul Revere was an important leader of the Minutemen, who created the network of intelligence and alerts, so his ride capstones years of work establishing an independent militia. Countless messengers have brought important news under troubling conditions in war. And yet, the image of a simple girl taking a bold risk for a cause that she believes in broadens our understanding of the fight for liberty beyond a few larger-than-life supermen, and it humanizes our understanding. Yes, Danbury burned and the Battle of Ridgefield involved a tiny number of casualties, but the image of a teenage girl standing up and volunteering for danger for her country is timeless and reminds us all of the courage needed for freedom.